Good morning all, welcome back to my channel. Um, just going to give you an update on how my two surviving chicks are. And they're growing very well. As you can see. So they're about a week and a half old now. So <clears throat> they're doing good, they look healthy, running around, uh, enjoying life. So I just thought I'd give you an update of where they're up to. Okay, so I'm currently setting up a second brooder. Uh, I've gone ahead with uh, our plan. Uh, I was planning on getting some quail into the mix for uh, egg and um, meat production. So I've ordered 10. They should be here in the next, uh, probably next week. Uh, should be getting, you know, day olds or a couple of day old coils. Um, unsexed, so I don't know what I'm going to get until I get them. So I've ordered that. So I've already, I've got a, well, I've got a second brooder. Um, I was planning on putting them in here and move the chickens out to a, to the other brooder, just to try and. Uh, like we're in the middle of uh, end of spring, so beginning of summer here, so it's getting warmer outside. So I can, um, and I've noticed that chicks are getting further and further away from the heat lamp. So I'm pretty sure they're getting uh, not so dependent on the heat anymore. Uh, more towards maybe at night a little bit still, but during the day not so much. Um, so I was this is a hundred watt globe. Heat, heat load. The second brooder I've got set up is only a 50 watt, so I could switch them around. Um, but I have started building the the quail cages, uh, so I'm going to build a free stack system, just so I can have five or five females to one male per cage uh, in two of them, and then on the third one will be my uh, grow out cage and then see how we go from there um, I don't plan on uh, breeding and butchering uh, mass production on a monthly basis so so I am looking at getting a, uh, uh, a a different incubator so I've ordered a 56 egg auto turner um, you know quail auto you know, with the candling light already built in, all that stuff. I uh, figured I'd spend the money and and uh, buy a decent incubator. Um, only because if if I do continue with the cheap incubator that I've got, I'm probably only going to get seven, maybe eight quail legs in there on their side, uh, or seven in the in the egg holder that it comes with, and then. Yeah, so this way if I do, if I have 10 females and they're all laying 10 eggs a day and the majority of them are fertile, um, by the end of the week, you know, I could have 50 eggs. I could chuck them all in the incubator and then go from there. Um, so the plan is I need to have a free stack system at the moment. If I need to change that further down the track, uh, I can always add to it or I can use this brooder cage that I've got. It's pretty, it's a pretty big cage. Uh, it's uh, 1200 long by 480 uh, deep, so it's a decent size. So that's the plan moving forward. So um, yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Here, here on uh, my little patch. So I'll keep you posted on what we're doing and what how these chicks are going as they move forward. And I oh yeah, and we have uh, sexed them, and they're both hens, which is a plus. Uh, I was hoping hoping they're both hens, so we're lucky there. Uh, would have been spewing if they're both roosters. So yeah, so there'll be two two hen layers, uh, two egg layers that it will be added to the other two that we've already got. 
Um, so yeah, they'll give us a decent amount of eggs every week. Okay, thanks for visiting me. I'll see you in future videos. Bye.